Parquet here with VPX Baseball, and today we're going to start lesson one on heel connection, right? More importantly, mound heel connection, okay? So this is much different than maybe the unilateral connection that you're hearing across the internet or maybe been told because us pitchers work on a slope, okay? So obviously here's the slope of the mound, but our brain neurologically thinks that the ground is not leaving, right? that we're gonna land on a flat area. And we do a lot of work on flat, so we're kind of training that flat, which would be about your foot, about maybe six inches off slope, as well as when we get on slope, we drop. Kind of one of the things, the examples that'll help you out with this is like preseason, you've been working, you know, off season, you've been training on flat and that kind of stuff. You've been getting your arm condition, long toss, all of that type of stuff. And then the first few times you get on the bump, the ball is high, right? Because we've conditioned our arm slot to be on flat and our release point to be on flat, which would be here. But if I drop on slope, then my release point is back. And you kind of get the idea of what we're talking about here, right? So when it deals with mount connection or heel connection, if you will, the one thing we have to understand is there's no analytic that quantifies slope. So you can't really ultimately quantify it to the point where you're going degree by degree to, by degree and then the technology helps you. This is more of a feel factor and that feel is basically this. When my foot is about an inch off the ground is when I should basically almost release, okay? Um, pitchers don't actually go heel to heel, rotate and go like a hitter because we're not on flat, right? A hitter, which has the identical lower half moves of a, of a pitcher, gets here, front heel into the ground, rotates and goes, okay? So they have something strong. But the problem is, us pitchers, since we're on slope, we're gonna get down, but because we, we have that about six inch drop, we're actually gonna go this way on it a little, right? Now here's what separates the good hitters from the bad hit, or the good pitchers from the bad pitchers, is this is a bad pitcher here. I'm following with my head forward as I drop slope, okay? It's going down, okay? That right there is gonna cause this action because if we think about this, right? I'm gonna get here and I'm gonna land. Well, if I was on flat, I'd be good and I would be this way, but because I'm on slope, I let that six inch drop, bring my head down and then my arm goes back. So it's basically like this, right? You get the idea, okay? Good picture, it's like this. You can see how I'm riding my back hip, okay? I'm riding my back hip. So if I went slow motion, I actually landed right, boom, okay? Compared to boom, okay? So if I threw, I'm gonna throw bad and I'm gonna throw good. Here's the good where I'm riding my back hip and connecting heels to where my front foot is about an inch off the ground. I'm going to land, rotate, and go but my head is gonna stay over my back hip here. So same thing here, All right? Head's a little forward there. I'm gonna exaggerate it for you. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go. You can see how upright I am. And the more that I'm able to connect my heels or close that gap between these two touching and rotating, right? The more effective I'm gonna be if I'm keeping my hips underneath me later, right? So again, I'm not going to get top heavy and I'm not gonna rotate until I actually get my front toe on the ground, but my back heel will be up here. So it's gonna be more like this compared to a hitter would be like this, heel to heel. So it's gonna be about, about like that, flat footed with the heel up. So just watch my back foot here. See, it comes up late, right? And again, you should think about kind of a on switch on your heel. And what you're doing is basically keeping your heel down. That will keep it off. When you lift up, that's on. That means you rotate and go. So this is all preparation, gathering support. When I'm ready to use it, then I bring my heel up, rotate, arm goes. Okay? So watch my heel again. It's going to stay down a long time now. That's still a little early. I'm gonna to try to ride it even longer here. There it is. That feels like I'm back and I'm, I'm getting a lot of power moving into my front side, 
basically staying loaded in the front foot strike. And more importantly, making sure that I'm connected with my heels. Okay? So that, you're getting the idea. The later you can be on your back heel, staying down and not coming up, because once you come up, it's go time. It's gonna be, you have to rotate and release. So the longer that I can hold everything back and create explosive force that's being held back by being down on my back heel, the better I'm gonna be. So if I release a lot of bad pitchers, they'll do this, they'll release it early. You can see, I'm exaggerating it, but watch my back heel again, right? Here we go, I'm gonna release early. Right, so I'm, I'm really a toe pitcher. I'm just getting here as I come down, and then I release. And then that rotates me, and then I have to um, execute. And the ultimate response on that, ball slower, drop in, um, angle, plane, all of those things, off speeds, too many things to, to talk about, okay? So again, here's good. See, I stay on it a long time. One more time on good. You notice I'm able to really drive and grind into that lower half better. And then bad. I'm gonna come up on it early. Okay? One more time. I can even be like a lower half where I'm trying to grind into it. Watch what happens. Basically, it pushes me forward, right? So heel connection on the mound is not ultimately heel to heel. That's not exactly what's gonna happen. The idea of my brain is to think heel to heel because what I'm trying to do is delay my time here to utilize and turn the switch on and execute, right? So realistically, if I can think heel to heel, when I get to about where this should be flat, my brain's gonna go good, you're ready to roll, then I'll rotate and the timing will be good because then you'll land and then you'll be in that right position because no one throws like this, right? They don't throw like this with the heel down. They basically get toe, rotate, and then go. But all the power that you're creating does this so that way down slope, you can hit your lower half, your upper half rides, you hit, and then it pops it up and keeps their supported because the whole thing about pitching mechanics, energy flow and all that is keeping support with you as long as you can. Everyone's pretty supported here. Most people lose support in the middle of their loadout, and then by the time they're here, they're, they're a disaster. But the good pitchers, support, support, support. So keeping support down slope is the key. Keeping support this way down slope, right? With good shoulder to hip separation. And then you'll probably be about, about maybe two inches off the ground, about right there, and then you rotate, and then you go. Okay? The last portion of heel connection that really um, enhances it, obviously, is riding your back hip as long as you can and staying as tall as you can. We talk about that a lot in all of our videos, but those two ideals really help you in accomplishing the final result or the final goal, or more importantly, the actual goal in all of the ways that people are training, pitching, and efficiency, which is to have support down slow so that it supports your arm and you can do a lot of things, unlock the velo rather than if your support leaves, then you pull, you wrap, everything starts to come out too differently. The hitter sees it, I lose you know, deception, too many things that could go wrong. So heel connection, pitching is lower half, heel connection is proper. Again, if, if, you, if you look at it in a energy flow aspect, you're gonna make sure that you create a power sail. How do you do that? You ride up slope longer and you connect your heels and this is what it should look like. Right there. Hopefully you like this video. Check out our other videos in this lesson plan to really help you understand one of the basic foundation um, building blocks of your delivery and the pro grade delivery. Thanks for watching.